Hello everyone. Thank you so much for taking time out of your weekend to tune into this performance. I'm very excited to present this program as it's something I've had in the works for many months now. Each piece you're going to hear features some sort of electronic element, whether it be fixed media or live processing. Additionally, each piece was written by a composer who is still alive, several of whom you will hear from throughout the program today. In the description below, you'll find links for websites for all of the composers if you'd like to learn more about them or listen to any of their other music. And you'll also find a link to a PDF of a more traditional concert program. If you don't want to follow the program, that's fine, as myself and the composers will be here along the way to introduce each piece to you. Let's get things kicked off with our first piece, Geminids by Alex Gray. Alex and I know each other from our time together at the University of Tennessee and at the Neef North Festival. I was ecstatic when I discovered that he had written a trombone ensemble piece and jumped at the opportunity to record it for this program. Accompanying the music is a video installation consisting of still images and time lapses by my friend Michael Abramian. If you're interested in seeing or purchasing any of Michael's work, there is a link in the description below. Now here's Alex to tell you more about the piece. Hi, I'm Alex Gray. You're about to hear my piece, Geminids, which I wrote in 2019. The composition focuses on echoing glissandi lines, resulting in an idea of gliding chords, which ultimately disintegrate through electronics processing, much like the Geminids' meteor shower falling through the atmosphere. I originally wrote this for an eight-piece trombone ensemble, and I'm very much looking forward to hearing Cole's multi-tracked version of it now.
The next selection on the program is titled The Middle Pigeons by Inez McComas. This is a wonderful piece for trombone, tuba, and fixed media, and I was thrilled to have the opportunity to collaborate with tubist Jordan DeWester on this project. I'm going to allow McComas's program note to speak for itself. She writes, The Middle Pigeons is an auditory journey that harmonizes the life of pigeons to the likenesses of middle school girls. The inspiration for this piece began with observing a row of pigeons situating themselves on an electrical line, swaying their tails in tandem to counteract the effects of the wind. They were sitting two by two by four, with a small space in between. This grouping is the opening melodic rhythm of the piece. With further thought, the following poem was born, and other similarities emerged. Each group is a bit odd-looking. They flock together, they strut, they are used as go-betweens, and they chatter and cry. Here is that poem. Birds on a wire, talking with tails, chattering, chortling, like middle school girls before class. Each one is a flutter, but dare not get out of sync. Duos, trios. They trade spaces with stories while moving together. Others join, swaying the suede. Tittle, tattle. These doves, they squabble, but dare not move. That is, until they move together. Birds of a feather, fly. Thank mm-hmm. you. 
Next up, we are going to hear two pieces back to back, both of which are world premieres composed by Colin Holter. I was lucky enough to have Colin as a professor during some of my formative years in undergrad, and to this day Colin continues to be an incredibly inspiring friend and colleague. We've had several opportunities to collaborate over the years, including the pieces you are about to hear. Colin wanted the music to speak for itself, so I'll keep things brief. The first piece, To Throw Up One's Hands, is a project that started last fall. I was toying with the idea of assembling an effects pedal board to integrate in performance, and was interested in having Colin, a guitarist, write something for this new medium. The piece is scored for trombone, piano, and manipulated delay pedal. The original intention was for a pianist to play the piano with their left hand and manipulate the delay pedal with their right hand. Given the challenges of accomplishing this via remote collaboration, the pianist, Wade Troyer, was relieved of delay pedal duties, which were instead performed by myself. The second piece, with Harkarian, was a second attempt at a collaboration that could be more efficiently completed during the pandemic. In this particular performance, I'm accompanied by guitars, which Colin was kind enough to play. 
I hope you enjoy To Throw Up One's Hands, followed by With Harkarian.
Our next piece, Amber Waves, was written by composer, conductor, trombonist Evan Williams. It is beautifully simple and simply beautiful. Here's what Williams wrote about the piece. Amber Waves is a reflection on my upbringing in the Midwest. I grew up, and my family still lives, on a street called Wheatfield Road in the south suburbs of Chicago. This street is near a farm that grows wheat and corn. This improvisatory work pays homage to the simplicity, beauty, and vast openness of that place, and areas like it throughout the Midwest. In addition to the music and footage of me performing the work, I have interspersed videography topically tied to the music. I hope you enjoy. Thank you. 
The next work is Delta Days by Brianna Ware. Brianna is a good friend of mine here in Madison, who I'm sure many of you know, and it was such a pleasure to collaborate with her. Here she is to tell you a little about the piece. Good evening, everyone. Thank you again for tuning in to Colbert Tales uh, recital. Uh, definitely appreciate you watching and supporting uh, our friend. Uh, my name is Brianna Ware, and I am the composer of Delta Days. Um, this piece was a commission by Cole, and um, I jumped on the opportunity to do this. This is a kind of out of my wheelhouse, but I was really excited. This is a piece for amplified trombone and uh, pedals. So Cole was able to somehow attach guitar pedals to his horn and then uh, creates effects. So Delta Days is supposed to um, play off of the blues sounds um, that were found in the Mississippi Delta uh, during the early beginnings of blues music. Um, I hope that you all enjoy the piece and uh, thank you again for tuning in.
There are two pieces left on the program, and I'd like to give you a heads up that this next performance of Your Huddled Masses Yearning to Breathe Free is emotionally very heavy. Collaborating with Brian Mark on this work was an absolute pleasure, and I cannot thank him enough for his diligent efforts as composer of both the music and video installation. Before I turn it over to Brian to tell you more, I'd like to mention that this piece was selected as a winner of the 2020 Mosaic Philanthropy Future Art Awards. Now here's Brian. Hi there, I'm Brian Mark, the composer for the next piece, Your Huddled Masses Yearning to Breathe Free, which I'd written for Call back in April and May during a lockdown here in New York City due to COVID-19. The title of this work is taken from the 11th verse of Emma Lazarus' iconic 1883 poem, The New Colossus, which is engraved on a lower plaque on the Statue of Liberty. I can see this iconic monument from my apartment window here in Brooklyn, and it was during this time that the whole situation regarding the pandemic came full circle as I was gazing out the window when I was writing this piece for Cole. The mood on the streets in New York City felt very grim and ominous at the time, yet it was also hopeful. So I wanted to depict the atmosphere felt by many concerned Americans during those months in lockdown, as it felt that our society was yearning to breathe free from a socioeconomic, physical, and psychological perspective. The piece was constructed as a tenary musical form with a duration of 10 minutes due to the inclusion of the delay pedal loops. I experimented with various techniques and textual ranges of this instrument as the material contracting and expanding throughout the work symbolizes the poet's metaphor from this particular verse. The piece also employs the use of music quotation as the opening melodic material from America's national anthem is echoed throughout as a warning to the masses. What you are about to watch is a video installation accompanying the recorded performance that is comprised of actual news and media footages from various American cities during the pandemic from March through May. I want to thank Cole sincerely for showcasing this work on his recital, and I really hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you. 
Before the final selection, I'd like to thank you all again for joining me today. Making music is wonderful, but it doesn't mean much if there isn't an audience on the other side to listen. So your presence today means so much to me, as well as to the other performers and composers who are involved in this production. The biggest downside of virtual events is that there isn't much room for interaction between myself and all of you. So please don't hesitate to reach out personally if you want to talk about the show at all. Most of these pieces will be released as individual videos on my channel today at 2.15, and this full recital video will be staying uploaded as well. So if you feel inclined to listen to a particular piece again or want to share it with the world, please do so. Now for our final piece, I'm joined by Daniel Roth on trumpet for Close Fight by Jacob TV. I've always been attracted to this piece because of how over the top and absurd it is, but I will let the piece speak for itself. Before we roll the video, just in case there are any young ears listening, I'd like to warn everyone that there are a few choice words. I hope you enjoy, and thank you again for watching and listening. And the new How would you assess this fight? Were you feeling out in those first few rounds, or what was your strategy? Uh, 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 it's a tremendous accomplishment. Uh, 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 who's doing it like me in the game? Uh, 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 nobody. Uh, 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 you kept saying the entire fight, you can't hit me. It's a tremendous accomplishment.
I'm not, I'm not, I'm not an immature kid. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not an immature kid.